today's changed in so many ways. And, and to be honest, I mean, we always look back, you know, when we go to museums and science facilities and so forth, we want to know, we want to know about the past. Well, it, what a tragedy it would be if we didn't maintain that here as well. This building has a quite a quite a long heritage to it. Uh, the original owner was Joseph O'Connell um, back in the early 1900s. <laughs> As you can imagine, this is a really old building. Uh, he and his family built this this uh, this property. He was the original one of the original folks that uh, what worked in to be a uh, general telephone company. He sold it to the Catholic Diocese where the Bishop Connor was here for about 50 years. And then uh, our original founder, Sam Jacobson, bought this property in uh, 1985. We opened the club in, in uh, 98 and uh, it's, been, uh, it's been just a great time ever since. So. Part of the character of Bishop's Bay Country Club is, is the building, of course, and the history that's behind uh, what you see here. Our idea was we want to restore it to a piece where it can move forward. I mean, it'll last for generations to come. It was vital for us in this whole process, in this renovation process, three phases. Uh, to maintain the architectural uh, integrity of this facility. One of the big things about the, when you're talking about windows of the early 1900s, um, you, you, you've got mullions. We have a, a very uh, tight mullion uh, lattice and that is what window design customized that for us. So for the Bishop's Bay project to replicate the existing um, leaded glass windows that were coming out, we used a collection of different size bars. So the effect is when you're done and looking at that window, it has wide bars down the center and narrow bars that intersect. So if you compare the original photo with what we provided, very few eyes would see any difference. And that's where simply focusing on those details is important to get it right. And uh, obviously, what a challenge it was to, to be able to maintain all that heritage and that historical integrity, and at the same time, uh, have direction from us going, we really need this to be functional, and it needs to, we need to be able to flow through it, and at the same time, we don't want to lose all this charm. So, so I think they did a really great job of, of, uh, of making that happen. So when we're looking at old buildings, they're usually built with love by craftsmen from Germany and so forth in this area, who are stonemasons, incredible millwork, lots of love and care went into building that structure. And it's usually some collective statement of the culture. So there's a reason those are grand, and it's because as a people we've said this is an important function or this is a landmark that we care about. As you start to research, the history of the facility where you're at and what's taken place there over, over time. It, it is truly amazing. To help restore that the right way, um, even a small house that has the right um, windows put in it gives me pleasure because it's done right and it looks good and it's going to provide for many, many years for the, for the people that use that. And the windows are, without a doubt, uh, amazing. These look like the original windows, minus the fact that these are very high efficient windows. Our goal is to improve lives through doing the right thing in buildings, not only for high energy performance, but for those aesthetic things, because art is important, um, beauty is important, we all thrive on that. It's a really important task, it's, uh, it's something that needs to be treated with care, and, and that gives me passion.